So the creator of it, he is the source of light and he is the light itself, like we spoke about it and discussed it in the past. So the light is something that cannot be seen until you break it. The light comes out, let's say in this physical world, from the sun or from a light bulb, from a source of light. It must hit the ground or the object and then when it is braked on that object and the beam of light runs back to your eye, you can see that object. And based on the speed of light and the nature of that object itself that is also built and designed and created in a certain form that makes the light break onto it in a certain way based on that all those um, details the light will be seen in a different form in a different color different shape to your eyes because of the angles of the way that it been broke now the when a person is like flying on the speed of light like all our souls were before creation we were one with the light we were the light itself the light cannot see itself because he is who he is and what that is reminding me of what that moses asked hashem the creator how will i know how will am israel know that i am a true messenger so hashem told him tell them tell them that I am who I am, the one that I am sent you to sent you sent you to them. So he is who he is. A funny thing is that if I'm gonna ask you who you are, you're gonna answer the same. You're gonna say I am who I am, who that I am. And by that please remind yourself of who you are, that you're a portion of God from above. You have the same name. Who is he? He is who he is. And who are you? You are who you are. I am who I am. That's both of your answers are the same. So when the light is who he is, he cannot see itself. So therefore the Creator couldn't um, influence the light, influence his goodness to no one because there was no one there to accept it, to receive it. But after breaking the light into physicality through that certain prism um, that is breaking the light in different forms and shapes on every particle of this creation in a different way, in different angle, different speed, reveals the endless of his greatness and his glory. Now the world is endless and the world is above time and we're just experiencing things under this prism slash prison of our lives, our cells, our bodies that we are captured in as of now. And therefore we feel things in temporary ways under constrictions and limitations of space and place and time and on. But in reality, this prism is just passing on infinity, on the straight line of endless light. So please wake up and take life seriously and start to think positive because Hashem is with us, okay? And we're going to bring redemption right away.